anyone want to see something that just pisses me off to no end? Ooh, turkeys. Did you hear them turkeys? They're gobbling. Ooh, look at the size of that tom down there. Tom turkeys don't piss me off, but I can see them. I can see that clown. Come on, focus up here. Oh, come on. This is a brand new camera, by the way. And it's... <laughs> How's that for a brand new camera? No? Some bitch don't want to focus. Some bitch don't want to focus. Well, I could qualify as pissing me off. Come on! I just have to focus in on my nose hairs, but it won't focus in on that. What the hell? Right here, let's try something different. There, wait, well, oh, yeah, we're getting close. You ain't even gonna see it. Anyways, now that I've wasted a minute of your time, trying to show you what pisses me off and not what actually did piss me off. But I'm going to show you something inside this Ford pickup truck. Uh, about a year and a half ago, I uh, replaced these Mania folds and studs. Come on, baby. You can do it. No? Ain't going to do it? Anyway... I replaced the exhaust manifolds and studs, and it was a real son of a bitch of a job. I mean, it really took a lot. It took a lot to do, and I wasn't happy about doing it, but I did it anyway. You know, it's one of those things that millennials just won't get, and that is that you actually have to sometimes do things that you don't like. And I hope that's not my dad that ran out of gas. No. No, that's not. That's Bob Nussbauer. Hold on a second here. Let me. Okay, so I walked to... away, took the phone call, and forgot where in the hell I was at. So hopefully this doesn't take too long to edit to get it back to where I need it to be. Uh, but I do know that I was about ready to say what pisses me off and that I had changed these manifolds in the studs. And there is a crack. And when I say a crack in that manifold, I mean it is cracked all the way around the entire manifold. Um, yeah. So, here's my story. There are stainless steel studs that I put in that aluminum head, which makes life a lot easier because, you know, you just sometimes it's better to put stainless steel up against aluminum than it is to put actual steel, because steel and aluminum don't like one another. They have this horrible tendency to get into a nasty fight, and usually the steel is who loses. Actually, 99.9% .9 of the time it's steel that loses. Because, well, just because the steel will rust faster and that aluminum will break off. So, anyhow, I have both manifolds, and you can't see it, or maybe you can, but right just to the left of those numbers in that manifold, if you can see that, there is a crack in the very same spot there, too. Now, the thing is, I didn't use Ford manifolds. I used the better, I might add, better um, Chinese manifolds. Yeah, can you believe that? So, I asked a local uh, shop here, shop owner, that does this kind of work all the time, and he says, oh yeah, buy the Chinese ones. They're, they're actually better than the Ford ones. I'm like, are you fucking kidding me? Excuse, excuse my F-bomb, because I live in New Jersey. Um, I said, are you kidding me? He's like, no, no, they're great. They work, they last, they're thicker, they're heavier, they're, they're right where you want them to be. Um, they'll, you'll put them on, they'll outlast the truck. Like, okay. <laughs> you know, I put them on in a November, in, when did I put them on? I put them on in September. Uh, last year, a year ago in April, like the first week or two of April, I went out to see Mr. 63 in Palatudor, um, God bless him, and uh, he, uh, he says, hey, you got a manifold leak. I'm like, I oh, know, it's cracked. So I know that they cracked somewhere around November. So they were put in in August, and they cracked out in November a little bit. And then I just kept running them, and that was last, not this past November, the November before. So I've been running them for huh, a year and a half. So a year and a half has gone by, and they're pretty much cracked all the way around. I'm getting exhaust fumes in the truck. Um, gas mileage went up, though, which was kind of weird. 
the bigger the crack gets, the more the gas mileage goes up, which is kind of odd, but that just leads me to believe that the catalytic converter may be no good. So I may have to replace that while I'm in there um, when I take that apart. So I have to buy Ford manifolds, and the Ford manifolds are you know, double the price, um, but you get a three-year warranty with those manifolds. So that's what I'm going to do. Ford manifolds, Ford gaskets, and the nuts. I don't need studs, I just need nuts because the studs are stainless steel. Uh, so that's what I have. Uh, and that's kind of what pisses me off because I do have, Jesus, I put several hundred dollars in. I think I put maybe, I think it was about $800 to do those manifolds with the studs and the gaskets. And the time that I did it is where that 4010 sets. That damn thing sat there for a month as I picked away at it a little here and there. I didn't really need the truck that much at the time, but uh, that's just one of those things that pisses me off. So now I got turkeys over on the other side and I got deer going across that way. This is just a wildlife sanctuary, I swear to God. I'm sick and tired of these effing deer. Uh, they put you out of business in a hurry. And anybody that says that they don't is delusional because I know. You get a herd of 20, 30 deer on a field. How about every field you have beans and corn in? You got nothing. So anyways, yeah, and I don't even, I don't even shoot deer anymore. I'm so sick of deer. So that's that. I'll let the neighbor deal with it. He wants to have soybeans and corn. He can have deer too because I hate deer. But anyways, thanks for watching. Please comment, rate, and subscribe. I love my Fords. I just don't love Chinese manifolds. Even though I prob probably the manifolds are made in Mexico for the Ford. I don't know. I'll find that out, though, before I put them in.